All right, today I'm going to walk you through how to use FlexClip. So if you're looking to make stunning standout social media videos, then this tutorial is absolutely made for you. I made that using FlexClip. I just started with a ready-made template and with the help of AI, I turned it into a scroll stopping video in minutes. And whatever kind of video you want to create, whether it's a punchy product promo or a Facebook or TikTok ad or viral social media content, you can create it all with FlexClip faster and more efficiently than ever before. And in this step-by-step -step FlexClip tutorial, you can learn exactly how to use templates for lightning fast video creation, make your message pop on screen, generate unique AI images and looks, and auto-optimize for every platform so you create once and share everywhere. All right, so first things first, let's get you set up with FlexClip. Click the card link popping up in the top right of your screen right now, and that'll take you directly to the FlexClip website. And then once you're on this page, go up to the top right and click this orange sign up button to create your free account. You can use your Google or your Facebook account, or you can just use your email address like I'm doing here. Next, let's verify that email. So head over to your inbox, grab the code, paste it in, and then click continue. Now, just to enter a password, click sign up, and here we are inside the FlexClip workspace. And before we do anything else, let's click the upgrade now button down here. Because whilst the free version is great for just testing the waters, if you're planning to make a lot of videos, then you're gonna want to go on a paid plan. As you can see, plans start from as little as $11.99 a month. Plus, use the promo code SIMON25 and you're going to get 25% off any monthly or yearly plan. So obviously, pick the plan that makes the most sense for you. But I recommend the Plus plan. It's going to give you 1080 full HD downloads. It's going to give you 3,600 AI credits per year and no watermark. So I'll click Get Plus. Then just add your payment info. Don't forget to apply your SIMON25 promo code and then hit pay now. All right, so now we're inside the FlexClip workspace and we're ready to go. So now let me just quickly walk you through the layout, show you where everything is so that you can hit the ground running. On the left side menu, you'll find a big create a video button. That's how you generally start a new project from scratch. And then you've got home where you can always get back to this page and then projects where you can find and organize all your saved videos. Then there's templates which as you can see, has hundreds of ready-made options. These really help to get you started quickly and they've got them for every type of video you could ever possibly want to make. Next up is AI tools. Now let me just quickly show you some of these because these are next level. So there's a whole host of AI tools. So we're talking AI text to image. So you can create images with just a prompt. Then you've got the AI background remover, AI face swap. So that would come in really handy if you're creating thumbnails, for example. And then there's even an AI clothes changer. So that lets you change the outfits in your photos. On the video, you've got the AI video generator, AI text to video, AI blog URL to video, and AI product URL to video. So it's really useful if you're making any kind of ads or product promos. Plus, you've got tools like the AI music generator, AI text to speech for realistic voiceovers, the AI translator, and AI sound effects. So I really think with these tools, you have everything you need for efficient and smart AI powered video creation. But let's go back to the left side menu then, and you'll find favorites where you can save all your go-to items for quick access. And then there's cloud space so that you can sync your files to the cloud and just access them from any device. And then finally, you've got the create team option, which is great if you're collaborating with your team on projects. All right, so now that you know your way around, we're ready to dive into the fun part of actually creating videos. So across the top here, you've got the seven different ways to create videos. So I think to create fast, polished social media and marketing videos, I think the quickest way is to start with a professionally designed template and then enhance it with FlexClip's powerful AI tools. So let's head over to the templates tab on the left. And this is the template library. So you can use this search box here to search thousands of pre-made templates, or you can also browse by category. So if I click business and services, for example, you can see you've got templates for things like real estate, uh, fashion and beauty, and restaurants and food, and just so many more. 
for this tutorial, let's pretend that I'm a personal trainer and I'm looking to create a social media video to attract more clients to my business. To find the right templates for this, I'm going to click on sports and fitness. And now you can browse hundreds of relevant templates here. If you hover over, then you're going to see a preview. And there are just so many different styles here. And as you can see, you know, they're all professionally designed and every single one of these is completely customizable. So I think this one looks perfect. So I'm going to click it to select it. So now you choose your aspect ratio, depending on where you're posting your video. They've got 16.9, which is perfect for YouTube and X. They've got 1.1 for Instagram feeds and 9.16, which is good for platforms like TikTok, Facebook Reels or YouTube Shorts. For our Instagram Reel, I'm going to go with 9.16. And now let's hit customize. All right, so now we're inside the editor and this is where you're going to make your template uniquely yours and apply AI tools for the extra polish and that impact. So the first thing is, if you want to delete a scene, then you simply select the scene in the timeline here at the bottom and just hit the delete button. Now let's say I want to swap out this scene for another one because I just don't feel like the breakdancer fits the overall vibe that we're going for. And it's not entirely relevant for my totally made up personal training business. So I'm going to select it on the bottom timeline here. And now if you go to the left and click media, you can upload any image, video, audio files of your own that you want to include. For this one though, let's go to the left side menu again and this time click images. Here you'll see thousands of stock images and videos that are ready to use. But we're going to create something unique with AI. So under where it says AI image generator, let's click generate now. And now that we're inside the AI image generator, let's enter our prompt. So think of your prompt as instructions for the AI. It's what you tell it to create. So for this one, I'm going to go with something super simple like a male weightlifter in a modern gym use strong colors and lighting. But now I'm gonna actually get the AI to help me improve my prompt so I get a better end result. So to do that, you just click on AI prompts and then click improve prompts. Now the AI has gone through and made that basic prompt a lot more vivid and a lot more detailed. Next, let's choose a style. So there are just so many options here from studio shot to cyberpunk to 3D animation and pop art. I'll try photo. On the model, you've got three options, fast, pro or ultra. So the fast model will generate quicker images, but the overall quality in the end will be a little bit lower. The pro and ultra models take a bit longer, but you end up with a better result at the end. So I'm going to go with ultra to get the best image possible. And then for the ratio, let's make sure it's 916. So it's the same as our video ratio. And I'm going to get the AI to generate four images for me so that I can choose the best one. And now let's click generate. Okay. And here are the images. So just choose the one that you like best and click it to select it. I'll go with this one. Then click add to media. And now when we go back, you'll see your new image on the left. So you simply drag it and drop it onto the scene and you'll see it's now being replaced. Okay, so now let's switch out another scene, but this time with a video. So the scene I want to change is this one of a woman running. So to do this, I'm going to go to the left side menu and click video. And here you can search thousands of high quality stock videos. I'm just going to do a quick search for woman gym workout and just see what comes up. And you can click on any video to preview. And then once you find the one you want, simply drag and drop it directly onto the scene you want to replace on your timeline. Now, once your new image or video is in the scene, you can click fit or fill to adjust it. And you can also use this toggle here to adjust the zoom and double click on it to set the exact position like this until you're happy. Okay, so that's our scenes done. Now let's talk transitions. So how our scenes flow into each other. So our template already comes with the transitions built in, but let me just quickly show you how to change these just in case you want to customize them on your video. So if you look at the scenes in your video timeline, you're going to see a little two arrow symbol between each scene. If you click one of these, you're going to get this menu pop up, which gives you a ton of transition options. And you can hover over anyone like I'm doing here to get a quick preview of what they look like. And then just click on the one you like. So for this promo, I'm going to pick this one. 
And now you can use this toggle to adjust its duration. I'll just make this a little bit quicker. And you can also turn on the default sound effect for the transition, or you can change the sound effect to a new one. I'm just going to leave the sound effect off for now. And then once you're happy, simply click apply to all scenes to use that transition across your whole video. All right, so now our video scenes are all sorted. Let's walk through how to change the text and make it your own. So to do that, you simply select any scene and then head up to the preview and then just double click on the text box. And now you can just start typing. So for example, right now, this says extreme, but I'm gonna change that to break limits. So I'll double click the text and then just change it. And now I'm quickly just gonna go through the promo and add my own text to each scene. Now that's done, we're ready to add some style and animation. So right here, you can change the font, the size and the color of the text. Next, let's hit animation. So here is where you can control how your text appears on the screen. So you're gonna see dozens of ways that your text can appear. And again, you can just hover over them just to preview. And I kind of like stomp. I just think it looks cool. Um, here is where we can adjust the duration. And now that is automatically saved. So now if you click style, there's going to be a whole bunch of textile options as well that you can choose from. And there you have it. Your text is now fully customized. And now let's explore elements to add graphics and calls to action that are really going to help make your video pop. So here on my end screen, there's a subscribe button that I want to change. So first things first, I'll click on that element to select it and then hit delete. Now let's go to the left side menu and we're going to click elements. So this is where you'll find all sorts of shapes and stickers and social icons, buttons and emojis, that kind of thing. And because the goal with this video is to get people to book a free trial personal training session, I'll go ahead and add a book now button. So just click on it to add it to your scene. And now you can easily resize it just by dragging the corners like this. And you can also just reposition it exactly where you want it on the screen. And now let's animate. So click animate. You, again, you can go through the options here, but I really like the pulse effect. So I'm gonna click on that and I'm just gonna speed it up just a little bit. Perfect. And I might just change the color just to make it pop a little bit more. So let's go uh, with this lime green. Nice, I'm really happy with that. Now let's change the background music for our promo. So to do that, just go to audio in the left side menu and you've got music and sound effects here. So let's hit the music tab. Now, as I showed you before, FlexClip has an AI music generator tool. So if you wanna add a track to your video that's 100% unique, then you can hit this generate now button here. But FlexClip also has a massive library of stock music right here. So you can use this filter icon to browse thousands of tracks, either by mood or by genre, or you can also search for tracks directly. Oh, and by the way, when you're on a pay plan, you get full license to use these. So there's no need to worry about copyright issues or anything like that. All right, so I'm gonna go with something epic for my video. And since I'm looking for something, you know, upbeat and high energy, I'm just gonna type in energy and see what comes up. Now let's listen to a couple of tracks. And I like the feel of this. It definitely matches the tone and style of my promo vibe. So now you just drag and drop it directly onto your timeline. And I'm gonna select and hit delete on the existing track. And now let's just quickly adjust the new one. So I kind of want the song to come in right at the start of the video, you know, without the long buildup. And you can see the waveforms there. So I'm just gonna hover over the front end. And when you see these double arrows appear, you can click and then drag to clip the song to start wherever you want. Now I'll just move it into place and I'm going to do the same thing at the end just to make sure that the background music plays for the entirety of the video. And if you right click the music block and then click on audio settings, here's where you can adjust the volume. Plus you can also click fade here to add a fade in and fade out. 
And that's it, your video now has the perfect soundtrack. All right, so now it's time for the grand finale, the end screen. So this is where you really want to drive action. So you want to get people to take the action that you want them to take, whatever that may be. So maybe you want them to visit your website or to buy your product, to follow you on socials or send you a DM. So in my case, I want people to book a free one-on-one -on -one training session. So to make that end screen truly effective, I'm going to need my image on it. And I'm also going to need to look the part. But right here, as you can see, there's an image of a woman. I don't know if she's dancing or stretching. So for my promo, I want to replace this image with one of me. But I also need to look like a personal trainer. So since FlexClip has a powerful AI clothes changer tool, I'm going to use that to get the perfect personal trainer look for my promo. So let's hit the FlexClip logo here in the top left to go back to the home page and then click AI tools in the left menu and scroll down until you see AI clothes changer. Click that. So now I'm going to upload my image. And then now that's uploaded, I can browse through all the different clothes options. So they've got shirts and they've got suits. Let's have a look under men others. And I think there are a few good options here for my personal trainer. Look, all right, I think we'll go with this one. And yeah, now I really do look the part. Let's hit download. All right, so to go back to your video, go to projects where you can see all your saved videos and then click on the video that you're working on. Now I'll click this image, hit replace, and then upload our new image. And there you go, that looks so much better already. And now I can just use the AI to quickly remove the background. So to do that, just click AI just here, then click AI image background mover, and just like that, no background. And now we just hit apply to save all the changes. All right, so now we've covered every step. Now let's watch the full promo video we just created from start to finish. All right, so do let me know what you think of it in the comments, but I think it's come out really well. If I was watching this, I would definitely book a free session. So once you've gone through and that you're happy with your video, then we're ready to export and download. So now let me show you how to do that. And as you can see here, your project is automatically saved as you work, which is good. So now we just hit this black export button and then you're gonna get this pop down menu. So first let's choose your resolution. I'm going to go with 4K here to get the best possible quality. Then you've got frame rate. So you've got 24, 25 or 30 frames per second. So I'd recommend 30 FPS for YouTube and other social media channels just to get the smoothest, best quality. And we'll go with high quality. So now let's click export. And now we just give that a second to finish rendering. And once that's done, your video is now saved to your device and ready to upload. And congrats, you just created your first social media video, all thanks to FlexClip and a smart AI workflow. And if you want to dive even deeper and really master this tool, then check out the official FlexClip tutorial playlist showing right here. It's packed with step-by-step -step walkthroughs on tools like the AI video effects tool, AI voice cloning, AI face swap, and AI scripts. There is just so much you can do with this and they're adding new tools all the time. So just dive in, have fun, and bring your ideas to life.